When it comes to animating Jack, obviously we've got a huge backstory to this game. We had to think, who is this guy? Where is he? Why would he do this? How would he do that? Not only that, but we had to ensure that the movement style would sit well with the stylized graphics and audio of the game. These combined elements meant that we decided to stylize his movements and make them just beyond realism. We made them hyper real. We used a wide range of tools for animating all the characters, from motion capture to hand keyed from scratch. Either way, all the animations went through the same process of having to be pushed further to fit the hyper-real style that we wanted. Motion capture is a fantastic reference point, but no matter who you put in the suit, with all the best will in the world, you're going to have to push things further for a game like ours. You're going to have to push the poses, you're going to have to make the performance stronger. We've spent a lot of time on that, identifying those key poses and making them more dynamic. Take Shadow, for example. He was a huge challenge to animate, and I think that has drawn extra strengths out of our team. There was talk originally of motion capturing him, which we could have done, but the early hand key test was so good that we decided not to. We studied a lot of reference for Shadow, particularly police dogs. What we noticed instantly with these dogs was that they totally threw themselves into what they'd been told to do, completely selflessly and with no thought of their own safety. They latch on and they don't let go. That's definitely something we've captured with Shadow and I think people are going to be excited to play as him. I've actually got quite a deep martial arts background myself. I can say hand on heart that I think this is the first game that delivers the kind of visceral impact of actually being in a combat or hard sparring situation. It's fast paced, easy to learn but difficult to master. I've tried to use my own martial arts experience on the game and with the help of the game designers I think that comes across. It's really satisfying to pull those punches and big elbow strikes as Jack. It was really good fun working with the actors when it came to the mocap for the cutscenes. The performance actors we used were incredibly talented and thankfully very open to direction and feedback. We established a great working relationship. A lot of nice little character nuances and gestures came through the discussing the scene with the actors during the shoot. You need help. A doctor. Tonight, you're my doctor. And I kind of think I might be in need of a sponge bath. Ow. Bedside manner's a little rough. So is your timing. Oh, easy. It was the same with the stunt and martial arts motion capture sessions. Given the extent of the martial arts training and physical size of these guys, it could have been quite intimidating. I have to say though, they were completely down to earth and just a great bunch of guys. Again, it meant that the shoot was free flowing. Lots of ideas were being thrown in by the martial artists themselves. The more I directed them on the violence of the game, the more they got into it. The more over the top and exciting the takedowns became. They put everything they had into it. It was the same when I ended up performing some of the fight moves myself in the motion capture suit. Although I think I went a little too far because I ended up with three broken moves. We did literally put blood and sweat into this game and hopefully that will show when players experience it for themselves. <laughs>